So went ahead and brought a few broken 3DSs, 3DXLs and stuff, and this is one of them. So I'm going to go and power it on, and I'll go and show you what the issues is with it. One of them, which hopefully should be easy to fix. The other one, I'm not sure it's going to be easy to fix. But the first issue with it is, it's not reading the game card. Now there is a cartridge inside, and I'll go and show you that, and you can see it right there. So there is a cartridge loaded into it, but does not read it whatsoever at all. So that's broken. And then the other broken thing is the wireless does not work properly on it whatsoever. Like, if you go to a certain area, it won't pick up a wireless signal at all whatsoever. I already tried. So there's something going on with the wireless card too as well. So we're going to go ahead and take this apart and see what we can see in the inside and see if maybe we can get this guy working again. So one of the first things you want to do is go ahead and remove these two screws right here. Use a PH00. So once you loosen these screws, they're captive into the case so they're not going to come out. They're made for that. Then you just unclip this and then it comes out. And then there's going to be four screws you can remove here which are silver. There's one right there, one right there, one right there. And there you have to remove. Then there's going to be two plastic inserts in here which I got right over here. That you do have to remove and there's two more silver screws that you have to remove and then right by the game slot there's going to be a black screw you remove once you remove that then it's as simple as unclipping this cover which doesn't really take much force at all but be very careful during this part lift it up this way here once you lift it up this way here there's going to be two ribbon cables that connect so you're just going to go ahead and um disconnect these two right here so you're just going to go pop this one out here and then you're going to go ahead and pop this one out here and then this, then now you can go and take this away. You can see it's kind of dusty and stuff inside there. So I'll go and put that aside there. And here's an inside view of the Nintendo 3DS XL. And you can see right there some of the componentry and stuff like that before I go and tear this completely down. Because I'm going to go and tear this completely down and clean it. I suspect that's pretty much what it is. Is that this game slot started seeing the amount of dust and everything else on there. And then when I was looking under there, I can see, you know, that's kind of corroded. So, so I'm going to go and give that a good cleaning and see if it makes it work pretty much. I think that's all this needs, just needs a basic clean. So hopefully this card here is good. If not, you can actually replace that. But I'm going to go and clean that connector. And that might actually get it working enough to the point where the antenna starts working again. Don't see any water damage or anything. That's one of the things I do look for. On these portable consoles, especially just to see if there's any water damage or anything like that. And it looks very, very clean. Now, that's not saying it is. It could be underneath the board for all we know. But on the top view of it, it doesn't look like any water or anything like that has gotten into it. So, let me go and tear this down a little bit further and see what's going on pretty much. So, I went ahead and actually took a peek right by where the Wi-Fi antenna cable is. And it's pretty black, so... In order to lift this wireless card up, all you have to do is just grab it on the side there. It pops right out. You don't have to be forceful with it. Just be very careful. And you can see there, that's quite corroded on where that Wi-Fi antenna is going into the actual card itself. So I'm going to go and clean that up. And hopefully that will give us a Wi-Fi signal at least to the card back again. And Wi-Fi will be working on this thing again. The other thing I got to do is clean the game slot, which is a common problem with these. They end up getting corroded pins or just a lot of dust and dirt and stuff like that. And over time, the game cartridges just don't read properly or you got to push it in back and forth and then read sometimes and it doesn't. So all you have to do is clean this with isopropyl alcohol, the inside pins right there. I'm going to go and tear this whole entire thing down because I want to go and give this a really good cleaning and refurbishing. So let me go and do that and I'll be right back once I'm done. So when removing the main board from one of these, you do have to remove the Wi-Fi card so that way you can be able to feed this Wi-Fi antenna through this board here. So you have to remove that. There's four screws right here you have to remove. There's two screws down here you have to remove. There's four more right here. And then you do have to remove the analog joystick there too as well because it'll be blocking plus the cables will be connecting to the board. So remove the two longer screws holding the analog joystick in. Once you do that, you can flip it this way here. Lift this tab, slide the cable out there, and you can get that out of your way. There's going to be two cables here that you do have to remove. One there, one there. You're also going to have to remove one right here too, which that piece is um, right there. So you do have to remove that. 
here's the analog joystick right over here and then there's the slider you also have to remove there's gonna be a plastic piece right here and once you get that all loosened up in these two cables down here of course then you can lift this board here but be very careful how you lift because there is one cable in the rear that's holding in so you don't want to break that so what you do is well you go ahead and try to slide this up here and I'll go ahead and show you because I don't want to go ahead so let me get my hand over here so I can show you what I mean by the cable down there well, I gotta be careful with this because try and do this one hand it's not easy but then there's one cable right there that you gotta be careful so you do have to Lift that up and remove that, and then this whole main board will just slide right out. So I'm going to go and do that, and I'll be right back once I'm done pretty much. So I went ahead and freed the board, and here's the other side of the board. And thankfully, it looks very clean. There is no signs of corrosion or water damage. So here you go. I'll just go and show you there. Give me a quick look on this side of the board pretty much. But it's very, very clean, so that's a good thing. So this is likely going to be fixable. And then here, I'll go and show you inside here too. And then there's your LCD panel. And then there's for your joystick. And then there's your rubber membrane for your keys and stuff. So I'm going to go and clean this up really good. It's going to be the boring part. That's pretty simple. You just remove everything, clean it with soap and water. And put it back together pretty much once it's all dried up and stuff. Just be careful when cleaning the LCD and stuff. You don't get water inside. Of course, just wipe that down pretty much. Use common sense. But overall, I'm going to go ahead and refurbish this, clean it back up. And I'm going to get it back together. I'm also going to clean this corroded um, connector right there with some contact cleaner and stuff like that. Or see if I got metal powers or something like that and get that as clean as I can. And hopefully that will help regain signal bend and also route this cable back into this slot right here like it's supposed to be so i'll be right back once i'm done doing all that pretty much now to clean this cartridge slot there's two things i do one i go and take a piece of paper and i fold it over a couple of times and i'll actually go ahead and put the edge with alcohol and i'll go and slide it in between this metal and you could probably just see the pins right over that shield right there there's actually a plastic piece there and then the pins go back there and I'll go ahead and just go across the piece of paper back and forth to get as much of the dirt content I also clean the inside of the cartridge with a q-tip any of the dirt debris and stuff that's in there once I'm done doing that the other trick that I like to do is fill these channels with alcohol you can use a q-tip for that easily dab that in alcohol and just fill these in once you fill that in you can simply take your cartridge Go ahead and insert it into the slot. So let me go and do that. And just do this. Work it back and forth a few times. That's going to go and scrape the contacts here. The contacts there. And it's going to break up any debris, dirt or whatever that's on those contacts. And clean the corrosion off. You can even do that while the bird's in. You don't have to have this all the way apart. Sometimes all you need to do is just fill the channels of this cartridge in there. Stick it in and out. If your game cartridge is not working, that will make it work again. So I went ahead and did that. They're nice and shiny. I'm satisfied with the results. So I'm going to go and put this back together and hope that it works. So I went ahead and finished cleaning up this Nintendo 3DS XL. I had to go and clean up all the contacts, everything. Also the cartridge slot. And the Wi-Fi card, you can see now the connection from the Wi-Fi antenna thing. It's nice and clean now. I went ahead and deoxed it and cleaned it up so hopefully we get wi-fi signal and stuff like that if not i'll have to replace that card probably but there you go i'm gonna go and get the back cover on and i'll be right back once i'm done so i went ahead and finished refurbishing the nintendo 3ds xl and here's how she cleaned up and it cleaned up i gotta admit pretty nicely there you go let me go and focus there there's a little bit of scratches here and there but nothing major Underneath it, we got rid of all the sticky tape they had on back of it. I mean, it's a pretty clean unit overall. Question is, does it actually work now? So I'll go ahead and see. Let me see inside. Oh, there's little scratches there, but nothing major. Let's go and just power it on and see if it still works. <laughs> it should it worked before. The only thing was the internet and the cartridge didn't work. So I guess the first thing we'll do is we'll go and test the internet. Or at least the Wi-Fi card, should I say. Okay, so it's booted up. So just go to Internet Settings. 
Okay, connection settings, new connection, and see if it finds actually any networks. That was the problem before. You wouldn't find any access points, so we'll go and see if it actually finds anything this time. Oh, good. That's promising. And yeah, it found all those networks now. So that fixed it pretty much. Okay. So the Wi-Fi car, well, let me go and put the password off. Um, camera and I'll be right back once I'm done So I went ahead and finished putting the password in so let's go and see if it works Yep, go ahead And test the connection let's see if this thing connects to the internet Hopefully it does. Oh, here I see where it says internet on top there. Oh, yeah, it's definitely working And you can see it's getting full bars too. So that means that fixed it. There you go. So that problem's fixed. Okay, let's get out of this. And next thing we gotta test is the game slot. So, mm -hmm. come on, exit out. Okay, we'll go to the beginning of the menu there so we can see. Okay, and we're gonna go and try the game slot there. Not this one, where's the original one? So here, let's go close this up. We're going to put this cartridge in, which did not work before, so let me go and tip the side so you can see what I'm doing here. Then we go and enter this cartridge in and hope that it works. So let's go ahead and see. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Oh, picked up right away. So that tells you it is working. Let's load the game and make sure no errors or anything. I got the sound turned off on purpose because of copyrights and stuff. I don't want no copyrights playing, so... There you go. And you can see the 3DS XL is pretty much functional again. I did test all the buttons and everything off camera on the menu and stuff. So I know all those worked and it worked before. There wasn't a problem with that. But you can see there it is fully functional pretty much. So there you go. I'm go ahead and hit the start button. I already know it's going to work. So I don't even know why I'm even. No, but there you go. And yeah, we do have sound too, like I said. Okay, and I know it's like... And there you go. So it's fully functional. And this was a successful repair. So I'm going to go ahead and repair like the DS's. I'm going to repair a couple more of these and some switches. And stay tuned for those videos.